Hi everyone and welcome to Custom Mego Creations. This is a new series we're going to be doing here on the Mego Museum YouTube channel. Since our inception about 20 years ago, the Mega Museum has always embraced custom action figures because for a great deal of time it was the only way we were going to get new characters. We watched it change, evolve. We knew Paul Clark when he was intern Mego, but the most important thing was that we weren't at all responsible for it. We were the platform, but the community itself, the people sharing their techniques, their time, their findings, their recipes, their talent, that's what inspired others to do it. And that's why we're here today where there's this thriving customs community. So we wanted to make a web series that serves as a platform for others to share. Um, this is probably the only time I'm going to host this. Uh, I'm a moderate customizer, as you can see, I've put a few of my creations up there. But there's so many others that they have an incredible work ethic and talent, and this is hopefully how we can give them all the spotlight to share. So what Custom Mego Creations is going to be is a guest-hosted series where each week someone shares a skill, an idea, a technique, a recipe, and it keeps inspiring others to go forward. Uh, we're starting with a small group right now, but we really want to expand after that and get this to be like a weekly series with a revolving door of hosts who keep coming back and sharing. And I know there's a lot of great people who want to do a positive thing and put out their energy, and this is what we're hoping for. So I'm going to, now that I've explained the concept, I'm going to go forward and give you the first custom Migo recipe ever. Hang on. So for the first custom recipe of this series, I thought I would go for a skill level of basic. You don't need sewing skills, you don't need painting skills, all you need to be able to do is dress a doll. I chose this character, this is the Black Hood, he was featured in the Mighty Crusaders comics of the 60s, they're kind of an absurd super team that I really enjoy. And this was the first one I did because it was the simple recipe that led me to create more and more complicated characters and I'm still working on some of these and it's it was really satisfying and I think everybody's first custom should be easy and fun so that you want to be encouraged to do more so I will leave the links to how where I got all this stuff but the majority of it I purchased at classictvtoys.com the head is just a basic hero head they sell and of course it looks just like the black hood the bodysuit is a yellow bodysuit I purchased at figures toy uh, the belt is a black Batman belt. The undershorts are just stock at Classic TV Toys. The boots, I believe, I got from DrMigo.com. They are um, just standard, I think, Ape General boots. Not 100% on that one. I, I will put the right link. And, of course, uh, the gloves come from Classic TV Toys as well. The only custom mod I did on this figure was I cut a little piece of pleather and I fabric glued it to give him that black hood costume. Uh, that was pretty easy to do, and I think it cost me about three bucks for the scrap at the fabric store. All in all, this guy cost me about $20 to make, and that's pretty good. That's kind of in the middle between Mego and FTC, and I, I'm very pleased with it. I still haven't made any packaging for him, but we'll leave that for another episode. The body is from DrMigo.com. All in all, this is an easy figure to make, and I highly encourage you to hobble together your first custom. So I'd love your feedback on what you think of this concept. Are you a fan of customs? Are you thinking about getting into it? Let us know, and of course we're going to be looking for volunteers to do more episodes of this. As always, thank you for watching.